This is the number one Rival 9 setup that all the pros and top 250 players are running in the Pro League and in Modern Warfare 3 ranked play. Which after I give you the class, we're going to be breaking down Scraps gameplay and then a content creator's gameplay. If you want to get better, I seriously would stay tuned for that segment. So for the Rival 9, this setup is going to be pretty similar to the other ones that you guys are probably rocking. I will give you a variation if you aren't that good at the game since the Pro one might be a little bit difficult to use. That being said, for the muzzle, we are going to be adding the Purifier Muzzle Break. I know we are going to be losing a lot of our damage range, which is a little bit annoying, but the Rival 9 already has like no damage range, and so you basically won't notice that whatsoever, but you will notice how you get so much horizontal recoil control, overall making the gun very easy to use. What you guys can also do, which in my opinion is a little bit more broken, it's just banned in the Pro League because it's so good. This is going to be the Commentator Flash Hider. This is also going to shorten the Radar Ping, kind of acting like a half suppressor. Also gives you that Fire and Aim and Stability. Overall, this is going to be the best one if you want to be an asshole on the map. If you want to follow the GAs, which means Gentleman's Agreement, all the pros came together, which sounds insane. They agreed to ban that uh, Commentator Flash Hider from the game just because it was a little bit too cheese. Uh, Pure fire muzzle break is going to be the, the move. I'm so chalked now. Oh my god. By the way, are you hard stuck in rank play and want to boost? Then I would check out my long term sponsor, Guapsi. They will play in your account to legitimately boost up your rank and they can also unlock anything you wish on the game. You can scour the internet and you won't find a single negative review. I'll have their link in the description. So now our gun really doesn't have any recoil, but it also doesn't have any range. So to make this thing a little bit better, and we're mostly using this for that bowl velocity. The bowl velocity basically will make it feel like you're playing on a better ping. You have better hit registration on the game. This is also going to increase that recoil control. So make sure you run the Rival C Clear Shot Barrel, which is going to bring that damage range up to 10.3 meters, which is absolutely dog shit. Why the MCW is so much better in this game. Yes, we are going to have a lot of cons. We're going to be able to move around a little bit slower, but this gun already has a lot of mobility, so you shouldn't really notice it. Plus, for the underbarrel, we are going to be going over here, and we are going to be adding the DR6 hand stuff. I do have a variation of the class if you still are struggling to use the gun, but if you can get away with running the DR6 hand stop, you guys will see you get so much mobility, basically mitigating all the cons that that barrel was giving us. One little pro tip that's, I'm sorry if it's a little bit repetitive. I've been saying this in every single video. You want to hit the first shot on the enemy. You need to make sure you have good centering so then you can snap onto the target. You should be able to beam that back target over there. One way that people control recoil if you're on controller is by not using the right stick. You just use the right stick to like, you know, kind of... Not to aim, but to just move around them. It's kind of hard to explain. You want to use your left stick to control your aim and the recoil on the gun. And when you're using the left stick to do so, you actually will get that rotational aim assist, which is why it's a little bit easier to use the gun when you are strafing around. And if you are still struggling, I would go into a private match and then just go against bots and keep on playing against bots until you can beam people at long range. You might want to run an extended mag just so you can get more shots in and practice more but then it might mess you up in the real games if you don't run a magazine and so just overall hit the first shot use your left stick to aim as well as the right stick and you'll be a lot better player what's also going to help you control the recoil a little bit more since you guys saw me whiffing a lot of shots you guys want to run the marauder stock please don't run the close quarters i used to run the close quarters in like season one like when they first added rank play and then i realized that we don't get any firing aim instability which is very crucial in this game you need that gun kick control and the firing aim instability Plus, we just get overall like normal recoil. Uh, no, we do not. I'm lying. We get aim and idle stability. That aim and idle stability is going to help you get that first shot because it reduces the sway. Then the firing aim and stability and that gun to control is going to help you stay on target. Yes, we are losing a lot of cons on the gun. We're losing a lot of benefits on the weapon. So there is going to be a little bit less mobility. But that's why we got the underbarrel on there to mitigate those cons. So now, when you go into here, you guys can see this thing. It's going to be an absolute beam. And we have so much mobility. I'm still missing a lot of shots, but we are going to be using something else to add recoil control. Before that, though, if you're using the build and you're like, I'm just missing every single shot, I can just not control the gun, and you need a little bit of like some training wheels on there, I would add the Bruin Heavy Support Grip. This thing is insane for recoil control because you get the firing and stability as well. What you guys can also do is the X10 Phantom 5 uh, hand stuff. I still see a lot of very good players, not necessarily pros, but good players running the Phantom 5 because it makes them a little bit more consistent at the game. Basically, if you're very new, start with the Bruin, then we make your way up to the Phantom, and then make your way up to the hand stop. There's a reason all the pros run the hand stop. Now, from here, if you're fine with the gun, but you're just running out of ammo, then I would go over to the magazine, add the 40-round mag, 
this might be a little bit better and you can just get overall more kills with the 40 but keep in mind you are going to have a little bit of a slower mobility and handling compared to the enemies especially if you're playing up in those top ranks you don't really need an optic so i'm not even going to give you a variation of the optic what i'm going to be rocking in the gameplays and everything and what all the pros run is going to be the rival vice assault grip that adds that recoil control fire name stability and the overall recoil control so if you've seen a, a lot of my videos you guys already know this is the same exact class but just to reassure you guys this is going to be the best pro player build and in today's gameplay we're going to be reacting to some good players so if you want to get better i would definitely watch those so this is actually the only legit well non-ga non-banned renetti you're only allowed to have mobility attachments on your pistol when you um in the pro league and things and some people like to follow the gas if you don't really care about the gas then the muzzle i would rock is probably going to be the sky fury compensator and then for the optic i would add the slave reflector and then the rest is basically the same this is the one i usually rock because i don't really care about the gas and then for the rest of the class so we got the stun grenade that's typically what you want to run unless you're playing search and destroy you can do some crazy plays you can smoke a bomb or you can smoke a different side of the map to make the enemies tweak and maybe go over there while you go to the other side or hit a little flank and things like that or if you're about to die you can pop the smoke and then you can kind of get away more so in warzone though you use the smoke for that reason and then for the lethal usually i run the frag if i'm on a small map like we all usually run these semitex make sure if you run the frag you always cook the grenade you want to basically you know you want to know where the bomb is going to blow up at so if you want to hit a bank or two don't cook it for too long but if you want to blow up right on the point then i would cook it a little bit and then uh, for the field upgrade we got the trophy system dead silence is actually very helpful if you go over to the boots and add the lightweight boots this one will allow you to move around the map a little bit quicker allowing you to get some timings that the enemies wouldn't expect and then you can use the dead silence when you want to be a little bit quieter marksman gloves are typically what you want to use these are very broken on the smgs this might actually be g8 on the smgs you might have to run the assault if you want to follow ga's but the marksman will reduce that flinch so if the enemy gets first shot you still have a chance of winning that gunfight and it reduces the sway making it even easier to use at long range since nothing's swaying at all ordnance gloves are also very helpful these will allow you to get some like nades on karachi basically if you want to throw it over that building i think you have to have the ordnance gloves or just basically ordnance gloves to make it so those cross maps nades are a little bit easier to get and then uh, i know some people like quick grip gloves it does help but it's pretty niche not too many players run that eud is typically what most players are going to run tack mask is also nice but that's going to wrap it up let's get into the gameplay Fun ladies map. and gents we got toronto scrap which just sounds weird it still is no it's ultra scrap toronto scrap toronto scrap he's the number one player in the league right now motherfuckers insane at the game if you want to get better you'll get a lot better just watching him i'm gonna kind of break down what he does also if you say this is lazy content fuck you we upload almost every day i stream almost every day i usually upload my own gameplay but a lot of people like when i break down the rank play stuff so you guys can learn after this we do got a special guest on here i was gonna do another pro but all the pros got ass quality like this quality complete buns so we got a, a content creator we are going to be reacting to after scrap is on here so he is a ar typically he's an smg today playing on some real absolutely slams these guys his girlfriend's probably pissed so right you're 18 to 17 the enemy's got the spawn so he's going to be basically trying to get the enemies out of the spawn so that his teammates can spawn there and then it's a little bit easier to flood the hard point and get those kills all right there he just gets kind of slammed Looks like they didn't get the hard point at all. They're down by a decent amount, but it's only one hill. So one good hold and they're back in the game. And they have spawns for this hard point, making it easier to flood the points. Based off where his teammates are, he kind of knows where the enemies are. You got to always look at the radar. The radar literally tells you everything. It tells you where your enemy, I mean, where your teammates are, where they're looking. So then you know where to hold and where to, you know, just be the rock in the river. With an SMG, you know, everything's a river on this game. You got to be the rock in the river to disrupt the flow and try to build the dam to stop the flow which you know your ars will help pick off the people as well Dude. i forgot where i was going with that though all right here they're still pretty down at the moment i'm assuming he's solo queuing when he absolutely slammed me he was solo queuing so i think he's solo queuing here i was playing against him i was on 90 ping it was not good it was on like high rise control as well i just got absolutely world started it was like my second game on I was playing on 90 ping against Scrap, and it was just not good. It was pretty fun, though. I, I'm just about to hit Eerie, so I should be going against more pros. 
Actually, I probably won't be playing because there are so many fucking hackers on this game. Like in Eerie Lobbies, I swear like every other game there's a hacker. So I don't even play with any Eeries anymore. I make sure if I'm playing with an Eerie, they're on an alt account just so we don't go against as many hackers. Because this game is riddled with them. It is completely chalked to where I don't even really want to play ranked anymore. If you're lower ranks, probably don't have too many cheaters. Once you get like Crimson Iridescent, that's when all the cheaters are there. And you know... All the pro players say, or a lot of them, what I've heard, is that they say that 200 of the top 250 are cheating. And they're cheating if you're playing with cheaters. Like, you're literally a cheater if you're playing with cheaters. And if you do play with cheaters, go fuck yourself. Which is why a lot of the, the players up on top 250, maybe they're not cheating, but their teammates are. And they just run with the same squad, so then they don't get banned. Their teammates get banned instead. Over here, middle's open, so he's trying to contest the middle. He did slow it down a little bit. But then his teammates still couldn't do anything whatsoever. Bro, this quality makes me want to skip to the next gameplay. Does this quality scrap complete ass? Also, I was going to react to this one guy, Zavi. Zavi no Sabo. Insane guy. But his quality on the YouTube was not that good. So I couldn't react to it. I couldn't react to it. So Zavi, if you're watching this, get the quality up, man. Get the quality up. I was going to react to you, but I couldn't. The quality was too butt. Sorry, man. Damn, he's telling his teammates that they're awful or something. Uh, Jesus, the little two-piece in there. I'm pretty sure he gets a third here. I skimmed through this a little bit. Yeah, he got that third. Let's go. And then uh, allowed his teammates to get through. Teammate did not check that whatsoever. He just ran by. A lot of you guys, I guarantee you, you don't check your corners. Check your motherfucking corners, please. That was insane. He's almost like me. Got that game sense. Got that aim. The enemy's got new, I think. Nope. Okay, so you see, he can check on his radar. He sees his teammates spawn back there, so he knows that they have spawns and that maybe there's one guy in the spawn and then the rest of the people are going to be on the hill. He didn't check his corner right there either. It's 23 kills so far. Not too shabby. He's going to be going down with the big cruise. He's going to take the guy out of the out of the garage. In the garage. What a read. He just knows that the enemies are going to be spawning over there based off where his teammates are. Also, you should be able to tell where the enemies are in a way based off where you where you spawn. Wherever you spawn, it can kind of tell you where the enemies spawn. If you want to see a graph of every spawn, look up Harz on YouTube. H-A-R-R-Z. Definitely watch that guy. He explains all the spawns and stuff. And if you're trying to make some rank play content, that's some great content you can make because it seems like only Harz makes that type of content. So I would definitely do those. Be an asset to the community if you want to make some cool rank play videos. Be an asset. An asset? And not an asset, an asset. Set on the ass. Sorry. Too much ass in my brain. Okay, so. Lock it back in. They're still down by a lot. Scrap is going to get taken out. The enemy's got that mid control. He sees his teammate over here, so he's probably going to be going for that double chow to break the point. They got the point broken already, so it doesn't really matter. He's making sure nobody's spawning back here, and he's going looping back to make sure they get the spawns. You spawn close to the point, easier to get to capture that point. The enemy's got the back control, so he knows the enemies are going to be spawning back here. Plays that nicely, checking those corners. I'm pretty sure the enemies are still spawning in the back. Because I think you got to be in like P2 area or like cardboard if you don't want the enemies to spawn back here. Which is why Scrap is still looking back here. He doesn't see any of his teammates in the areas that you can block spawns. Blocking spawns is a big thing. Especially on the big maps. Because the big maps, you know, you got to run a marathon to get to the point. And if you can block the spawns and make the enemies run a marathon, that's that's ideal. Dude. That's another reason why invasion Watson, sucks. Oh, well, right now I'm in my house, Scrap. That's crazy. He just called them NPCs. Yo, also, I better not get any comments of people saying that I'm glazing on Scrap because I've done two videos where I'm reacting to him. He's just the only one that uploads his gameplay. Nobody else uploads. Atlanta Phase won Major 2 today. I want to react to, like, Simp or a BZ. You know, upload. I respect it. Like, it makes sense, you know? They don't want people to see their stuff, but... Or, like, the quality's horrible, which is why I got a content creator in here today. I'm actually excited to react to him today. I think that was ping. That was definitely ping. He was like behind the wall when he died. Or he probably checked his radar for that reason. 
He's just trying to flood the point. If you're ever losing a lot in your solo queuing, it's good just to hop on the point. Just hop on that point. Because your teammates aren't hopping on it. So, you know, just take that role. A big part to winning also is just anchoring the spawns for your team. Just know where you have to be to anchor the spawns and block spawns and just do that. And that will actually make your team, it will make it so much easier. It just sucks when none of your team is hopping on the point and you're anchoring spawns. And it's like, okay, you guys can't even win your ones. And I got the spawns for you. A little pro tip if you want to get better, even though I'm not a pro. So I guess it's not a pro tip, but I think a pro would say this. Play. Okay. I'll start from the beginning. If you want to find teammates, go into rank play, turn on your mic and actually speak. I know you can be a little bit shy. We're all introverts. We're gamers, but I hate that word. Oh my God. But just go into games and just calm to your teammates. If you really want to find teammates, you'll continue to do so. And eventually you'll find some people who, you know, who you resonate with. And then once you can become better than them, that's I, I thought that was Sydney Sweetie on the wall. I was about to go in game right now. I was about to cancel the video and go do something. Sorry. Okay. So. Yeah, once you get better than your team, then you want to drop that team and find a better team and then get better than that team and then drop them and go find a better team. That's kind of like what pros do in a way. It's fucked up, but it is what it is, you know. Oh, this video was actually recorded a long time for the, you know, the excitement. This video was recorded a long time ago or before a recent um, patch because he was up on somewhere where they patched. Departures and Visa are going to be in the game. By the time you're watching this, he'll probably be already in the game. That, this game's actually getting pretty close. I thought it was going to be like, you know, he was going to absolutely slam them or something, but seems pretty close. They got to get this point. Whoever holds this point is probably going to win the game. He gets a insane two-piece right there. Still playing slow. A lot of you guys just play way too aggressive or you play slow in stupid areas, so learn that. Up top, up top. Getting out of the hill. He sees three of them there, so he's just going to step back and just try to beat them out of the point. Scrap is usually an AR. Oh, that's probably why you switched to an AR, because he's usually an AR. He usually doesn't use a sub. Are we fucking getting out of the hill? He's an angry one. Bro, I just had an energy drink after a while of not having them. So I was like detoxing because caffeine wouldn't work or anything. And holy fuck, my stomach is in blender right now. One shot. I feel like a pregnant lady. I have to leave this video early to do some business. Gets that guy flanking. That's huge. Allows it. Uh, allows him and his teammates to know that everyone else should be in the front because typically you'll have like two people flanking. 240 to 236. They should be able to wrap it up here. Should be. I'm curious how many kills he got. I think he got like maybe 50 or like 40 something. Damn. Good aim. Okay. Okay. 250, 50 kills. God damn. I am going to go shit myself real quick. We got Rio again, but we got lunchtime with Rio. So if you're not eating your lunch right now, I don't know what you're doing. This is the best guy to watch if you're eating your lunch. And I'm not even just saying that. Like, this dude has taught me so much from this game. I love to just eat some food and watch this guy play some God. Motherfucker is nasty. I've actually been watching him since... He had 4K subscribers. He had around a 4K model for 2019. And I was watching him. I actually started my channel off doing GBs. And I would watch him to see how he did his videos. So I can kind of like learn off him and things. And then I stopped doing that type of content after about like 10 videos. Since I was just so ass at it. I was actually really bad until like last year in a way. I've even learned so much this year to where I can beat top 250s in iridescence. Last year I could and I couldn't. But now this year I understand the game a lot more. I've been just playing a lot more ranked. Before I was more of just like pub stomper, but now I'm like learning the ranked and like the fundamentals and you know more to it. A lot of you guys when you're playing ranked, you're playing without the instructions. You gotta learn the spawns and you gotta know, you know, basically the spawns and where the enemies are gonna be. When you're watching him, you're gonna learn a lot of the spawns just like in that last gameplay. Okay, so let's break it down. Let's see what he's doing right here. He is blocking the spawns the and he's getting kills. His teammates get the kills. Now he should have the spawns back here. But maybe his teammates were pushed up a little bit or that one guy that they didn't kill since I believe they killed three of them. He's like, okay, there's one guy missing. He knew that they were behind him because he wasn't in the front. That heady right there is insane. You can get people off that garage, like hop heady, and then people off the ramp, like right there where he just was. Insane spot. 20 seconds left. He doesn't have any ammo, and they're just going to be going for the new spawns. Oh, someone's spawning back here? It's probably because his teammate is up there. That's one thing that you could recognize. See a teammate on your radar across the map? You know that someone's going to be spawning uh, maybe, you know, near you if you're still on old. 
I hear one new, I hear one new. Way back, Princess, dead. See, I was gonna react to Zavi's yeah, gameplay, but his quality was just too bad. Right here, this is huge for lunchtime to get kills. I would have probably played my life just to make sure that we had those spawns. Just went super far deep and then just been like a nuisance in the back of the map. But what do I know? This guy's got the top 250 skin. Also, chat. Oh, not chat. Viewers, homies, whoever's watching this video. Keep in mind. Um, he plays on console only because there's so many cheaters in ranked. I want to run it with Mo Cryptic. I could probably join this squad here and there. But like, I don't think they're gonna play with me because I'm only on PC. They're on console, crossplay off, which gets sweatier, but it's legit, so it's actually fun. It sucks when it's sweaty because of cheaters. By the way, I do play with an Xbox controller, and so I'd have to basically switch to PlayStation. I could play an Xbox crossplay off, but then I can't play with my homies, so I'd have to solo queue. I wish we had like console only crossplay off. You know, I mean crossplay off console only or some console no crossplay on console only that would be nice then i could be on my xbox and then my buddies could be on their playstation if well they don't have one but they could get one then boom we're good okay so they're all going to be in the front he's just basically just blocking them out he's the dam in the river he's just making sure they can't get over here this is an insane heady you also can get information on this heady if you look through the windows you probably will do that in a second no he will not This is all good. They're not really getting kills, but they're keeping them off the hard point, which is great. That's a great heady that I know you guys don't use. They're actually slamming this team right now. It's 128 to 47. God damn. Oh, yeah, Zavi. Well, the ARs in this game are insane. That's why you see, like, everyone use ARs. Yeah, I'll be using an SMG. I'll be starting to, like, shit the bed. I'll switch to an AR. Boom. Get my streaks. We win the game. Good aim. Getting the information. Nobody's in the middle, so he needs to get control of this middle area. Which, if he's in the middle area and they have time, they'll actually get the enemies to spawn like farther away, more on P2. They'll be spawning in like P2 corner or like that side of the map in the corner of the map. What's going P3? P3 to top. Unless there's someone over there, and now they're going to be spawning on the right side. He's just making sure they can't get through middle. Because they got the bridge side locked. Now he's just holding down the, the middle. Which typically I like to have two people in there. But it just kind of depends on how things are going. They're going to be getting picked and stuff. So he's just in an off angle. Which if the enemy's still going on the bridge. He can still see them there. Is he always playing a little bit slower? I know a lot of you guys got ADHD. And you guys just play super aggressive. Which I do the same thing. So I need to always slow down. The fucker's... Damn, I've never heard lunchtime swear. I didn't know he swore. Maybe he does a lot. I just swear I've never heard him swear. That's insane. Bro, I want to go play COD so badly whenever I watch these. See how he, uh, like how he challenged the points? He's not going to just run up there. He's hopping up on the armrest things and, you know, the handles on the eskies to get a little bit of a higher elevation, be able to check the corners, and then he hops in there. That's what I always recommend. Never just run up the eskies. Use like the, the railings to, you know, get some extra high ground over here. So they didn't really, they bottled, soiled it. P1. So he's just playing the exits. The enemies might be able to read him here, but he's still in like a nice cruddy angle. He didn't chase that guy because he saw on the radar that his teammates are already there. So he's like, I don't need to do that. Right there. I think he just missed that first shot. So then it was harder to land the rest of the shots. Could be a box cut. Yeah, one's box cut right now. Box cut. Box cut. Weak, 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 weak. That's you, that's you, that's you. Help. What the? No, this guy. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, God damn! That was a nice shot. Let's lock him before this gets bad, guys. Come on. It is already bad. Start thinking about spawns. Start thinking about spawns. The enemies are starting to get some momentum. One thing on Call of Duty, it's a mental game. Once, like, everyone in these leagues, you know, like, Krim, uh, more iridescent and up. Yeah, and Krim can shoot their guns straight and they already kind of in a way know what to do so a lot of it's like oh, mental you. game like you don't want the enemies to get momentum on you because then it gets into your mental and then it gets into their mental that they're getting momentum then they start playing better and they start getting better timings or like if uh, someone's shooting your body it can make you kind of like psych yourself out and then you start getting bad timings and then you start losing 
back. Basically, you got to get into your flow state, which is just where everything is just happening without you even thinking whatsoever. It's another thing. You don't really want to think as you're playing. You just want to be able to be naturally with it. Like, you don't want to be thinking about your aim. Don't even think about your aim because you already know you can hit every shot. Like, don't go into the gunfight being like, okay, I hope I hit my shots. No, you're already going to hit your shots. Go in there just challenge knowing that you're going to hit your shots. Know that you're the best player. Know that nobody's better than you, even if you're going against Scub. Just know that nobody's better than you. And then you'll win your gunfights for. It's all mental. You get some information over there. It slows down the enemies. They can't really push if they're one shot. I know my faded ass would probably do that. One shot, re challenge someone, challenge three guys when I'm one shot. Which it looks like a. Okay, yeah, they're gonna have to wrap it up in this next hill. I hope they don't get this next hill just so the video's a little longer. And that guy broke his camera. He slid around the corner and showed up on Lunch's screen before Lunch could see him on his screen, if that makes sense. That's why you tell a corner very quickly. It's so you can see them before they see you. They need to get oh, a few more picks. Two of them are dead. They know two of them are going to be coming off spawn soon. Zavi just drills him right in his ass. And I already know lunchtime got low-key triggered from there. And the game is still going. See, Zavi's looking out for that, that watch time on this YouTube video. See, I already knew he got triggered. Bro, lunch, if you're watching this, I would love to run some games with you. Bro, do you see what I'm doing, though? Straight hackers though, and it would be at night. At night. See where he's nading? Make sure you do that in your gameplays. Copy the nades. If you don't remember to do those, go into a private match. Watch this video and copy what he's doing and do that in a private match so you can build the muscle memory. Bro, it's crazy that the game's not over yet. He's frying, he's just so mad at his teammates for trolling. Bro, drop 29, I see you, good shit. Shout out to Mo Cryptic, Savi no Sabo. Make sure you get your quality up, Savi. Mo Cryptic, keep it up, lunchtime. Been watching you for a long time. Keep it up, man. Deuces, everyone. <laughs>